Online delivery is critical for today's top restaurants, but commission fees don't have to be. With Otter's direct order solution, beefing up your online ordering business across takeout, delivery, and dine-in channels has never been easier. In this video, we will show you how to set up your direct orders account so your customers are able to start ordering food straight from your restaurant. First, set up your direct orders menu and publish it. To do this, log into your Otter dashboard at manager.tryotter.com. Select Menu App from the drop-down menu at the top of the page and click on Get Started. You can either create a menu or import a master menu. If you already have menus imported, select the menu you want to show on your direct orders website. Next, set up operating hours for this menu. Operating hours are the hours where this menu is available to your direct orders customers. Select the menu you'd like to add hours to, click on Hours, and enter the opening and closing hours for each day including special hours for national holidays and other special occasions. We recommend opening for pickup and delivery 15 to 30 minutes after your restaurant's opening time so you can have all your food prepped and ready to go. Next, choose how you want your customers to receive their orders, delivery, pickup, or dine-in. To do this, go to Edit Menu on the right side of the page and select the desired fulfillment modes. This determines what options eaters can select when ordering through your direct orders link. If you're satisfied with your menu, click Publish on the top right corner, then select Direct Orders from the drop-down menu and click Publish Menu. Your menu is now published online. Next, set up the payment method for your Direct Orders account. Your payment portal for your Direct Orders account is through Stripe. To create a new Stripe account, log into your Otter dashboard at manager.tryotter.com and click on Direct Orders on the top menu. Select Settings on the top right corner and then connect Stripe under the Payment Processing section. Follow the steps to connect your Stripe account. After connecting it, the Stripe status should say Connected. Now let's set up your organization settings. If you have more than one brand, you can set organizational settings across all your brands as a default. To do that, go to the Direct Orders app in the Otter dashboard and click on Settings at the top right of the page. From here, you can set up payment, pickup, delivery, and dining configurations for your whole organization. Click the Payment tab and choose how you want your eaters to pay for each type of order, pickup, delivery, or dine-in. You can let them pay online, in person, or both. You can choose to give them an option to add additional gratuity to their order, enhance your customer's dine-in experience by giving your customers the option to split their tab, set the minimum order value that should be allowed to split, and the maximum number of splits allowed. Next, click the Pickup tab at the top of the page and choose whether you want to give your eaters an option to pick up their food. Use the Delivery tab at the top of the page and choose whether you want to give your eaters an option to have their food delivered and how far you would like to deliver. This will depend on your in-house or third-party delivery partner. You can also choose how long the estimated delivery will take, what the delivery fee will be, and what the minimum order value will be to qualify for delivery. To set up the options for dine-in, click the dine-in tab at the top of the page and choose whether you want to give your eaters an option to order their food online for dine-in. You can choose if you want to give your eaters an option to maintain an open tab until they're done dining and pay at the end. You can force your customers to add a table number here, or you can choose to generate a QR code with the table number added, as described later in this video. Now that you have set up configurations for your whole organization, it's time to set up your brand configurations. You can do this by going to the Direct Orders app in Otter Dashboard. Under Brands, click Edit Banner or the pencil button on the logo. Upload your brand images and save these changes. If you want individual store locations to have different configurations than the organizational configuration you've entered above, then you can do this by editing store settings. The next few steps will show you how to do that. Even if you choose to leave all the values at the organizational level intact, at the very least, you will need to edit the store contact information for each individual store. To do that, go to the Direct Orders app in the Otter dashboard. 
Under Brands, click View Stores to see the list of all stores associated with the selected brand. Click the ellipses, select Store Settings, and choose the Location Details page. Here, enter the store's phone number and email address as you would like to be displayed to eaters. If you want to edit individual store settings for payment, pickup, delivery, or dine-in, you can do so from the menu on the top of this page. On each page, override organizational settings for this particular location, then choose individual store settings exactly like you did for the organization. Finally, let us set up a couple of additional features for your eater experience. An eater can order food from your website in two ways. For online ordering and delivery, they can use a custom tryotter.com URL. For in-store ordering, they can use a customer QR code. You will need to include a custom web link in your restaurant's website that eaters can use to order food online directly from your restaurant. This link is already created for you. In order to access this link, choose the Direct Orders app in the Otter dashboard, then click on View Stores under your brand. The tryotter.com address under each location is the link for that store. Copy the website link and add it to the store website. Eaters can now use it to order food online directly from your store. For your dine-in eaters, you can generate a custom QR code for ordering using a QR code generator like QR Code Monkey. To do this, simply copy and paste the restaurant's direct orders URL, download the generated QR code, and add it to your dine-in menus. If you want to include the table number in the QR code that you generate so it's unique for each table, you can do that by adding a special string at the end of the Try Otter URL before you generate the QR code. Add the exact words question mark table underscore number equals table one after the custom tryotter.com URL for table one. If you wanted to add table four, you would add question mark table underscore number equals table four at the end of the custom tryotter URL. Now use the URL above to generate the QR code in QR Code Monkey. This will display the corresponding table number for your eaters. And that's it. Congratulations. You are now fully set up to increase your direct orders online. If you have any questions, please contact our support team at hello at or via the chat icon in the Otter tablet.